Procreate Dreams is a cool app, but there are loads of hidden features and tricks. So today I'm going to share some surprising ideas that I think are easy to miss. I'm also going to share a little project that can help explain what I think is probably the most underrated feature in Procreate Dreams for beginners. Oh, and you can download all the working files for that project for free in the link below. First, let's look at something I wish I knew way earlier. Let's say we want to extend some of our animation. If it's at the end of the timeline, it's relatively easy. It works like this. So you would think if I did this, it would move as well, but it doesn't. It runs into the next frame. So all we need to do is select the edge of it, hold down one finger on the screen, and then we can extend and it pushes the other frames out of the way. This is really great for retiming your animation. The next idea is something that I learned from the commenters in my last video. So thanks to the community for sharing this one. By default, the only way to select and group layers with the timeline edit mode is with your Apple Pencil. But actually, there's a secret setting. In preferences, we can turn on enable timeline edit with finger. And now we can select with our finger and group things. Another cool setting in that same menu is enable painting with finger. If I turn that off, now when I'm doing cleanup, I won't get little tiny marks on my drawings anymore from my palm activating the brush. This is actually surprisingly useful and it's something that I wish I knew when I was making my Procreate commissions. Another really useful trick is how to import your Procreate brushes. Obviously there aren't as many options here in the menu for brushes as Procreate. So all we need to do, open Procreate alongside our dreams file and then drag the brush across. Now our brush will be in the imported folder. Actually, speaking of brushes, this is a bit of a weird one. The way that Procreate Dreams deals with pixels and brushes is, a, is quite unusual. If I draw a big texture here and then zoom out and use the same brush to, to draw, I can zoom in and you can see the brush on the right is very pixelated and the brush on the left is very sharp. This is something to keep in mind as you're doing painting and cleaning up. This is a quite unusual quirk of Procreate Dreams. And while we're talking about texture, I'm going to move on to our little project that we can try out. That super underappreciated feature I was talking about before is clipping masks. Clipping masks are actually way more powerful in Procreate Dreams than they are in the original Procreate, and we can use them to make some cool animated effects. I've got a basic eye drawing here. You know that I like to draw eyes, and I've made a new track on top of it. I'll quickly draw a pupil into this eye, and I don't need to keep it within the boundaries of the eye, because this is where clipping masks come into play. I'll select the pupil layer, and then long hold, say mask, Clipping mask. Now this top layer is confined within the boundaries of the bottom layer. And what's cool with this is I can now animate the eye without redrawing anything. I can click on performance mode, use my finger, and just have it look around. Now you can see my eye moves around. I wasn't happy with my first go, so I pressed undo and tried again until I was happy. I can also make the eye blink by scaling the eye. While I'm in performance mode, I'll just scale from the top and make some blink motions. Okay, that's looking nice. Let's take it further. I'll start by duplicating this eye a few times by selecting track options, duplicate track, and group all of those eyes together. And now I can make a new clipping mask out of that group and paint some texture and lighting on all of the eyes at the same time. Being able to do layers of clipping masks like this over and over again is one of the reasons they're so powerful in Procreate Dreams. This project is actually a very small part of a bigger project that I'm working on called Mastering Procreate Dreams. If you want any information about that, you can check out the link below. This last tip is one for the more advanced users that want to take their animations for Procreate Dreams into something like After Effects. If you want to export your movie with a transparent background, all you need to do is go to this spot here, select background and select transparent. Now make sure all your background layers are turned off and go to share, Share frames as images. This will create an image sequence that you can bring into programs like After Effects. These are just a few of the tips inspired by the comment section. So if you've got other ideas, make sure you message me down below. And if you're totally new to Procreate Dreams, there's a whole walkthrough video on my channel. You can check it out here. Thanks so much, everyone. I'll catch you next time.